the floor and it's too dead full. Yeah, we're on this one, so I'm ready to go on the floor. Yeah, we're on this one, so I'm ready to go on the They must not be thinking of taking all sorts of stuff. Because they don't even have a dump truck here. Leaving what? Because they're not taking them. So for a recap, we've uh, completely lost track of how many raids we're on. I think this may be, what, like 39? <laughs> yeah, raid 39. Uh, and uh, we're up to like 41, 42 tagging raids. And, yeah. <laughs> you know, it gets so redundant after so many times. It's like, really? Wow. It's just a waste of money. This money could be used for uh, helping the houseless instead of trying to steal their stuff.
close. Yeah, I can't get that close for you guys to see. They got everything taped off, but it's a, uh, it's our Carlisle Get a Job X Mare 2012 sign. <laughs> But, uh, yeah. Santos ran up with his, uh, cell phone, uh, recording or whatever, like that was gonna scare people or something, I don't know. <laughs> Not sure what they're even trying to do anymore. I think what it is, is uh, they're doing a dog and pony show for the public, because well, you can see this isn't going anywhere. We were going to spend thousands of dollars to do this. Could be thinking about like uh, food sustainability for the island fixing some sewer lines, you know, so we don't continuously keep getting sued by the EPA. <laughs> you know, fix the roads like most of these people here are street repairmen. And, uh, yeah. So many, so many different topics we can cover. get down a little bit closer. They're having trouble with our um, Mayor Carlisle sign. I'm trying to figure out how to fit it in the back of the truck because the thing was so big. That gentleman that just walked up is Wesley Chun. He's uh, one of the appointed members by Mayor Carlisle that uh, we, an occupier here, has pressed charges on for uh, theft. And uh, the lady in black down there is uh, Trish Warakawa. She has the same charges on her. Uh, investigation is still continuing as they're trying to figure out the situation down at HPD.
Wesley Chum, making sure that he's seen everything that's in the camp, so he can take as much as he can. He's got one sign and uh, looks like a piece of cardboard in his hand. He spent thousands of dollars for that. <laughs> yeah, I guess we're done. They just spent uh, anywhere between five and ten grand just to uh, get a, pe a piece of wood and uh, some uh, one piece of cardboard. Or we could have been feeding or helping the houses with like uh, job location, uh, job training putting them in some kind of program that offers them apprenticeships within the unions or even uh, co-op programs to rebuild some of the agricultural lands that's been destroyed because of certain projects that's been going on with uh, the city and county of Honolulu. This is more important though. What they come here and spend all this money for isn't even a uh, criminal law of any sort. It's not breaking the law, as you can see. I mean, they're just tagging. So, they came here to confiscate, but a piece of wood and a piece of cardboard doesn't come up to that kind of taxpayer's money. It's needless spending by Carlisle just to uh, show his reign of terror before he's out, out the door. I only got a couple months of him left. Oh, they're allowing people inside the tape area. I guess they're taking it all down, okay. Wesley Chun walking him like a Boy Scout. Keepers. They're at the homeless camp down here. Those are the two people we have uh, charges pressed on. Okay, so they're down here now. This is the uh, house's uh, end of the park. Our individuals use this for uh, safety. 
and a, a place to sleep because the city has no nothing else to offer them. They have no housing. They have no beds available. So. So instead of arresting Wes and Trish, you guys are staying around? Yeah? Cool? Okay, Officer Santos just uh, gave Trish a uh, suggestion of a warning that one more time and there'll be an occupier arrested. But I don't know what laws are being broke. So I don't know if you noticed, but they took the sign and they tied it down with the cautions came. Okay, so I guess they're not taking any of their stuff today. They just tagged it. This is a good thing. These people have uh, enough issues going on in their life. They don't need any more trauma. <laughs> people really need to remember, this is like friends, families, neighbors, co-workers. <laughs> don't just run around stealing from them. I still like to know why Santos follows me everywhere. Every day I go to school, I'll see him later. If I remember, I'll take a picture, a snapshot of him, because he's there every freaking day. Yeah, he follows me all over the freaking place. He sat out there for like a half an hour one day just watching me. I'm like, what the heck? You have the right and obligation to refuse and resist. Okay, well, I'm going to take and uh, shut this off. As you can see, uh, nothing major happened. They just spent what they say is in a row between five to $10,000 a raid to get a piece of wood and a piece of cardboard. <laughs> so, okay, you guys have a good one.